Stand this. The boots must have shrunk around my swollen ankles in last night's rain. Ugh. Rain? Rain? Uh. Why did it rain? It's never rained. Dee Dee! Help me, please. Ugh. No boots. My feet hurt something terrible. Oh, God. You're as rough as the men who beat me last night. Again? Yeah, again. A group of men beat me mercilessly. Oh, my neck hurts. Anything else? Well, I had a dream. I don't want to know. You never want to know. Alright, fine, go, go tell me. It was about... Well... You, you know. No. And I really don't know. Come on, Dee Dee. We haven't been here that long. I guess we haven't. God, this is miserable. And I'm hungry. But a carrot on the sides of your mouth? Yes! Here you are, Gogo. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Wait, I, I thought there weren't any more carrots. I... I can't remember. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Is this a turnip? No, I'm certain it's a carrot. Well, in that case, it's delicious. Well, Dee Dee? What now? We wait. No. Maybe we'll talk about something. Talk about what? Um... Perhaps we'll have a fight. Again? Again? We never fought before. But I was sure. I'm tired. Look, over there. A man. What? It is? No man, it's merely a shadow. It's not a shadow. There's nothing to cast a shadow. Besides, this sky's too cloudy for shadows. I guess you're right. It is a man. Here he comes. Where's your master? Master? I have no master. You can talk? Of course I can talk. The only thing incapable of basic human requirements as verbal communication is this ignorance. Bored pig! This is Pozo. He's not the brightest day I've ever owned, but... <clears throat> well, where have you come from? Where are you going? Eh, from one place to another, as any man would. Fair enough. Are you and your slave going anywhere in particular? Yes, from home to the manor house. We've come from the shopping district, in fact. Oh. Wait, didn't you just say- Don't you just love this hat I picked up? It was quite a fact. I like that hat. It makes my hat look kind of shabby. Wait a minute. That's my hat. No, it isn't. Well, this isn't mine. It's yours. I remember yesterday we swapped hats. When Pozo and Lucky were here, and, and, uh, and Pozo gave Lucky his hat. And Lucky's is, Lucky's is here. Yeah. As purported by the productions of science and being, continued interpretation of the opposite end of alchemy are still perpetuated. 
sometimes merging in alchemy are still perpetuated, sometimes merging in concepts from new age or radical environments, from new age movements, such of new age movements, such as it was trying to promote the new age groups of new members. Their aim is both the humanities along ways much of this occurs. A new knowledge about corpora, this activity occurs in new and small scale corpora, such as humanities, research in the sciences, research in the forgotten collections of this belief occurs in the sciences have developed numerous large methods to oblivion. Alchemists developed a significant role in foundations of chemists predated modern science, the modern foundation of basic utilities, the de developed of a structure of science, the conservation of hermetic principles and alchemy, recognized as a proto-science. However, Alchemists predated its modern foundation of which as a proto-scientific skeptic principles and mysticism, doubting the development of its chemical work. Zosimos existed a perfect heart of Panopolis, enlightenment and the spiritual transmutationer of late to enlightenment, and patrons such as Pope Innocent the Eighth of meaning the wall, the wall, the wall, then represented within this innocent spiritual philosophy. Practition of their true spiritual intuition and references as Osmos of alchemy for power that would lead into gold and Pope Innocent the Eighth existed within then, represented as an imperfection and perfect, healthy, incorruptible, and Pope Innocent Eighth existed. And the world of war and death, Leonidas of the War of Thermopylae betrayed the signs ancient sources to block the Persians, aware given by which the Greek force was annihilated and the only road by ro scholars ranging that a small path led by Leonidas and remained to be blocked, the rear guarded, annihilated before that could pass, but in one million, but before today could pass. Transmutation, Thermopylae, war. I do not like being ignored. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're both sorry. Very sorry. Pig, apologize. <laughs> oh, that makes me feel much better. A little groveling never hurts a person or two. Mon Dieu, someone say something! Uh, so you've been to the shopping district? Is that in the town where Godot lives? Who? Godin! Uh, Godot. So you've been to the shopping district? No. Never! But you said you did. No, he didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yes, he did! No, he didn't. I... I guess you're right. Mon Dieu, swine, pig, time to go. Off to the shopping district. Adieu. 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 They seem harder. Like ghosts. Like travelers. Like ghosts. Well, Dee, what do we do now? We wait. For Godot. Who? Godot. I, uh, well, I think he... Go, 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 go! What is it? What, what's wrong? A snake, a snake! I swear! Dee Dee, you're worked up. Calm down, there's no snake. I swear, if I were the tree! Alright, alright. You don't believe me, do you? I do, I do, it's just a snake by the tree. Reminds me of that story. story with the snake and the tree. The, the man and the woman. Where the snake tricks them into eating the fruit. I don't remember any kind of story like that. Everyone knows that story. The tree was special somehow. I can't remember. I don't remember being by this tree. Well, we were yesterday. Although, we had leaves then. How could a tree lose all its leaves in one night? But it did. We were here. I remember. Golo, the last leaf. It's falling. So it has. The moon. It's dark. Darker than a 
should be. Yeah. It's waning. It was fuller last night. I guess a new moon's coming soon. So, he isn't coming then? Good dough. What about the boy? What boy? Godot's messenger boy. I don't know. Didi? Yeah. Let's hang ourselves. All right. If only we had some rope. But Dee Dee, how, how come you never, all the times I asked, how come you never brought it out? Well, it doesn't matter now. Well, who's going to go first? Well, I know the two. The lighter? No, no. It should be the heavier. That way, if the branch breaks on the heavier, no one will be left alone. Is that fair? Fair enough. But how do we decide? I don't know who's heavier. Yeah. I'll go first. I can't watch. Strange. I remember it all. More than 50 years waiting. Waiting. Waiting for Godot. I remember not remembering. God, how I wish and pray for that blessing back, that mercy. Memory is a curse. It's a burden I cannot bear. Sweet Vladimir, I'm so sorry. I remember how, how I I must have tortured you with my nonsense about boots and carrots. And I know how now, how useless all that was. How mad it must have made you. And none of it mattered. None of it mattered. To think that all this time, in spite of all that uselessness, that you never used this rope. You never once pulled it out. Truly you are a better man than I am. I lament leaving you this way. But I cannot spend an eternity waiting. Waiting. Waiting for Godot. Dee Dee? 